hello friends we have seen uh, design procedure of hand lever in previous video now in this video we are going to see the uh, numerical on hand lever so please see so here is the problem what uh, it says please see a hand lever for a lever is 800 mm long from the center of gravity of the spindle to the point of application of pull of 300 newton next is the effective overhang from the nearest bearing is 100 mm if the permissible stresses in tension shear and crushing is not exceed to 66 newton per mm square please see guys the permissible stresses for tensile tension shear and crushing is uh, given here that is 66 newton per mm square so it means uh, our permissible tensile stress permissible shear stress and permissible crushing stress have only one value that is 66 newton per mm square now next next is design the spindle key lever and the boss assume the arm of lever is to be rectangular having width as twice of thickness see guys this is the condition please see assume the arm of lever is to be rectangular the arm of lever that uh, we need to consider is a rectangular section and having width as twice of thickness see guys its width uh, we need to consider twice of its thickness okay so please uh, remember this condition while solving this numerical that is its uh, width as twice of thickness now solution is what is the first step uh, to solve the uh, problem of design subject the first step is to write the given data whatever data is given to us in numerical that we need to write first so given data is l capital is equal to 800 mm as it is given that uh, hand lever for lever is 800 mm long okay from the center of the gravity of spindle so capital l is equal to 800 mm p now p is what the spindle to the point of application pull of 300 newton means it is p it is nothing but your load that is p is equals to 300 newton then the effective overhang from the nearest bearing is 100 mm so some more small l okay so small l given is uh, value is given that is 100 mm the sigma t and sigma c and tau is given 66 newton per mm square as i have told you earlier that is Permissible stresses value in tension, shear, and crushing is all already given there 66 newton per mm square. So, we have written all these uh, data which is given to us. So, we have completed the first step of our problem. Now, how, uh, how to solve the problem? What is our step number one? Is considering the shaft, considering the shaft is under pure torsion. See, guys, by considering the shaft is under pure torsion, we see what it is capital T is equals to pi by 16 into tau into d cube okay so but twisting moment on shaft is equals to capital t is equals to p into l so we need to equate this that is p is given 300 please see into l is given 800 mm so we have put this value 300 into 800 is equals to pi by 16 into fs into d cube that is if you uh, calculate this 300 into 800 so it has 14 to 10 is to 3 value so calculate uh, this uh, value first otherwise uh, you get confused okay so i have just calculated the value for this that is 300 into 800 uh, after this multiplication i got this value that is 240 into 10 to 3 so i have just put this uh, value in this equation that is value of t is 240 into 10 to 3 is equals to pi by 16 into tau is given 66 okay i have put there into d cube so by this relation i have calculated the value of d that is 26.45 mm so i have rounded it as 28 mm because it is actually it is 27 mm okay but i have considered it for uh, more uh, side dimension that is 28 mm you can say okay so value of d is 28 mm now what next now our second step is to uh, fix uh, the uh, relation uh, fix some dimensions by using empirical relations that we have did here d2 is equals to 1.6 times d so 1.6 into 28 d is 28 so it will be at 44.8 mm t2 is equals to 0.3 times d so 0.3 into 28 8.4 mm l2 is equals to small d to 1.25 times of d so i have just uh, mentioned here 1.25 into 28 so 35 mm and small l is equals to choice of l2 so uh, l2 so l2 is what 35 mm so 2 into 35 i got 70 mm so i have just fixed all these dimensions by using some this empirical relation then what is step number three now see step number three is what considering the shaft supported at the center of the bearings under combined twisting and bending moment we have as we see in this step in design procedure also 
m is equals to p into small l is equals to 300 into 100. So what it is? 30 into 10 to the 3 newton per m square and double t is equals to p into capital is equals to 300 into 800. So which is equal, equals to 240 into 10 to the 3 newton per m m square. So we have calculated these two. First, calculate these two values so that your calculation should be uh, what we say uh, errorless. Okay. Then equivalent twisting moment T e is equals to under root of capital M square plus T square. Now, which is, is equals to under root of 30 into 10 to 3 square plus 240 into 10 to 3 square. Now, T e is equals to 241.867 into 10 to 3 Newton mm. So, we have this value of T e. Again, this uh, T e we can find out also that is also equivalent twisting moment T e is equals to pi by 16 into tau max into d1 cube. Okay. So, as L is equals to twice of L2. We have uh, taken this already into your uh, empirical relations. So, what is the value of T e? The value of T e is that we have calculated over here T e is equals to 241 into 867 into 10 to 3, that is 241.867 into 10 to 3 is equals to pi by 16, that is tau max is 66 into D1 cube. So, by this relation, we can easily find out the value of D1, which is, e is equals to 26.52 mm. Okay. Now, by this step number 2, uh, sorry, step number 3, we get this value that is d1 is equal to 26.52 mm. Now, this is step number 4. What is the step number 4? Design of key. So, after finding the diameter of shaft d, we can fix the dimension for key as w is equal to d by 4. Okay. So, d value of d is 28 divided by 4 is 7 mm. So, width of key is 7 mm and t1 is equal to d by 6. So, 28 by 6 is 4.61 mm. So, considering shear failure of key, we have T is equals to W into L1 into tau into D by 2. This is D divided by 2. Okay. So, I have just put the value of this T 240 into 10 to 3 is equals to 7. This is the value of W that is 7 into L1 into 66 tau value of 66 into D by 2 D value of D is uh, uh, what uh, 28 divided by 2. So, value of L1 by this relation, by this relation, please see, by this relation we can easily get the value of this L1. Okay. Value of this. L1. So, L1 is equals to length of key is equals to 37.10 mm is equals to 38 mm. We have rounded here 38 mm. Now, length of boss may be taken as length L1. See guys, length of boss may be taken as length L1. That is L2 is equals to L1 is equal to 38 mm. See guys, this point, this sentence, also, this condition also we have seen uh, in design procedure also. We need to take length of boss that is L2 may be taken as length L1. So, L2 is equals to L1. So, now what is the uh, length? L1 is 38 mm. That is why we need to take L2 also 38 mm. Okay. Please uh, keep this thing in your mind. Okay. Then step number 5 is considering the bending failure of a lever. See guys, considering the bending failure of a lever, we can determine the cross section of lever near the boss. So, that T is equal to thickness of lever near the boss and capital B is equal to width of height of lever near the boss. So, we have bending moment on the other lever is equal to capital M which is equals to P into L and section modulus is equals to Z, which is, is equals to 1 by 6 into T into B2. This is B2. Okay. Now, M is equals to P into L is equals to 300 into 800, that is uh, 340 into 10 to 3 Newton mm and Z is equals to 1 by 6 into T into B2, that is 1 by 6 into T into B square. Okay. Sorry, this is not B2, this is B square. Please do not get confused over here. This is B square. Okay. Uh, this is not B2, this is B square. This is my mistake, typing mistake. So, here you can see b square. So, that is why it is I have written 1 by 6 into t into twice t square as uh, twice uh, t square, okay, which is equals to uh, your 0 0.67 into t cube since b is equals to twice t. See, guys, this uh, value of b is twice t, that is why I have put here twice t of square. Then, bending uh, stress sigma b is equals to m by z, bending stress sigma b is equals to m by. Uh, z. So, sigma b is equals to p into l divided by uh, 1 by 6 into t into b square is equal to 240 into 103. See guys, this is not 103, this is 240 into 10 to 3. As you have seen this uh, value uh, here, it is 20, uh, 240 into 10 to 3 and uh, I have just put rest of the value here. So, 66 into 10 Newton, uh, 66 Newton per mm square sigma b. So, t is equal to 17.57 mm, say 18 and b is equal to twice t, so 2 into 18, that is 36 mm. So, I have just uh, put all this value regarding the uh, related to your design procedure. So, in this way, we have successfully 
solve the numerical based on your hand lever thank you